Hey everybody, this is Lisa Freeman from StampingWithLisa.com joining you live on Thursday, October 14th. Um, I am on Facebook right now live, uh, so if you're watching this on YouTube later, it is the replay, it's not live. So, I hope you guys had an awesome day. I just got home from work, ran in the house, threw something down, and changed clothes real fast, so I'm a couple minutes late, but that's pretty good. <laughs> Hey, Linda. All right, so hopefully everybody will get on here in the next few minutes and I will get started. We're just doing a really quick and easy project tonight. Um, I didn't have anything really elaborate, but I'm hoping on Saturday that I have something really good for you. So um, stay tuned for that. And that will probably be Saturday afternoon because my daughter's coming to town tomorrow. So I'll be spending the day with her. So it definitely will be in the afternoon. All right, let me get my computer going and... Let's see who's on. You know, I notice when I do all these videos, I don't know if you guys are like me, but hey, Beverly, hey, Kathy. Um, hey, Linda. I don't know if you guys are like me, but I have like two closets full of clothes and I wear the same like four or five outfits all the time and they just kind of rotate. As soon as they come out of the laundry, I put them back on and then they just go back in the laundry. And I just never wear the other clothes until it's like another season. And then I'll wear like four or five outfits for winter. Hey, Bri Brioni. Is it Brioni or Brioni? And Marsha? I know. So I was watching some of my videos the other day. And I'm like, man, I need to start wearing some different shirts. Because <laughs> I'm looking. And I'm like, okay. Um, like all of my videos have the same four or five shirts in them. So <laughs> and well, fall is here. So hopefully I'll start wearing some fall clothes or winter clothes and uh, instead of my t-shirts that I just throw on every day or my tank tops. I'm pretty much always hot so in the summer I wear tank tops like every day. So anyway let me show you what we're making. It's this cute little treat holder and it's got a little Kit Kat in there. A bit, well it's a big cat Kit Kat. It's a regular size. I know it's backwards right now because I've got the camera flipped around but um, it's really a cute little holder, and we made this in my um, stamping classes this week, and um, it was really cute, and I'm going to make these for all my people at work, so it will brighten their day, and it's got a really cute saying on it, and I'm going to stick a little card in each one, so hopefully they will love it, but this is like a five-minute project, and it's really easy to do and make in mass quantities for coworkers or your friends or your teacher, your kids' teachers or something like that, so... We've got a bunch of people on now, so, all right, this is good. Um, oh, we've got somebody from Australia watching. Hey, awesome, guys. All right, so I'm going to turn the camera down. I don't know if you guys noticed my hair is, is not in a hairband today, which I usually do. I was having a rotten hair day, and it wouldn't do anything, so I just left it down, but <laughs> it looks terrible. I need a haircut bad. But anyway, let me turn this down, and then we'll get started. Can't find the button here. All right, there we go. Hopefully this will be straight. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see and hear me good. I think we're a little bit crooked. No, it looks pretty good. Let me get that out of the way. My, my cheap stand that I have. <laughs> All right, so here's the project up close again. So you can see it. It's really cute. It uses my favorite punch. So let me show you, we're using the stamp set Pansy Punch just for the words. So we're using the words right here and they fit perfect in this punch, which is the Elegant Tag Punch, which is one of my favorites. And I don't know if you guys know this trick. I've done it a few times before. When you have a punch, almost any punch, if you punch it twice, once in the front color and then once in the back color, you can split the back piece in half and pull it apart to make it look like it's a bigger punch. So we're going to be doing that. And I'm also going to show you how to get three of these out of one piece of cardstock so you can maximize your paper. Because I know some of you guys have a hard time with cutting paper. I used to be a math teacher, a high school math teacher, so I'm really good with cutting and like thinking in my head, how can I get the most pieces from one sheet of cardstock? So I thought maybe I should start doing that for you guys so you don't waste much cardstock because I hardly ever waste any. So what you need is a piece of six by four and a quarter cinnamon cider a piece of two and a half by four designer series paper. This is Beauty of the Earth on page 130 in the big catalog. Then you need two scraps, one white scrap and one Misty Moonlight scrap. And then I just lost my ribbon. Uh-oh. 
Hold on. Where did it go? Oh, here it is. All right. So then you need a piece of ribbon. This is the white crinkle seam binding ribbon. And this is 17 inches. So you need 17 inches of that ribbon right there to make that. So get your screenshot going. Let me get this wire out of the picture. I don't know where that came from. All right. So, hey, Diane. Hey, Tracy. So hopefully you guys can see all that. And then I'm going to show you how to cut the paper. So this is the paper that we need to make, um, the, the holder. And it's six by four and a quarter. So if you remember off the top of your head, a sheet of paper is eight and a half by 11. So half of eight and a half is four and a quarter. So we're gonna, most people would probably just split it down the middle, then cut it at six. But if you cut it the other way, let me take all these off. You can get three and you'll have just a little piece left over. So I cut a whole bunch of these all at the same time because I have to make, well I did them all for class, then I have a little thing tomorrow, get together with my friends, we're making them and then I've got to make 30 for work. So, all right, get your paper cutter out. And what I'm going to do is cut it at six first. So on these paper cutters, the Stampin' Up! ones, we've got six right here up against the edge. So it's really easy to remember where that is because you don't even have to look at the number. It's just right up against the edge. So you push it as far as it'll go, cut it in half. I mean, cut it at that line. So now I've got six by eight and a half. So I'm just going to cut this in half at four and a quarter. And that's going to give me two of them. So now I've got two. Then I've got this extra piece, so I'm going to cut this at six. And then I'm going to cut that at four and a quarter. And we're going to have our three pieces. So we could make three right there out of one sheet of cardstock. And then we've got this much left over. Then you want to score it. So we're scoring it at, hold on, two and three quarters and three and a quarter. Let me make sure I get the cutting blade out of the way first. All right, so we want to go to two and three quarters and three and one quarter. So I'm going to do the three and a quarter first. So that's right here. And you just score it like that. Then you go over to two and three quarters, which is right here. And we're going to score it again. So there you go. And that'll give you your cute little holder like that. So it looks like a little book. So hopefully that will help some of you guys if you have trouble um, cutting and scoring. All right, so here's the one I already did ahead of time. So what we're going to do first is put the ribbon on. So you're going to take your ribbon, and this is the 17 inches, and you're just going to wrap it around like this in the middle, and you're going to pull it oops, till it's even um, both sides. So that's our ribbon right there. All right, we're gonna tape it to the front. So I'm gonna flatten this down just a little bit. So we wanna put a piece of tape right across the front like that and then lay that down right there. And then I'm gonna flip it over and on the back, this is gonna be covered by our designer series paper. So on the back, it's not gonna be covered. So we don't wanna see any of the tape. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of tape right on the ribbon and normally I would put like the silicone pad or something right under here so it wouldn't get on my scrap paper. And I think I just put that too far to the edge. So now I'm going to have some tape over here. Yeah, I did, but that's okay. Got it right at the edge of it. All right, so now we're going to cover the front with our designer paper. So you're just going to put some glue on that. I'm going to use the green glue. Hey Debbie, hey Aline. All right, I am great. Glad you caught this one. Yep, this is a good one and it's quick. It's a quick and easy one too. All right, so this really doesn't have a right or wrong side to it, so it doesn't really matter which way you put it. So just lay that down. And this paper just matches so perfectly. That's what I love about Stampin' Up! paper. It always matches the designer paper, matches the cardstock, and it matches the markers and the stampin' blends and the ink pad. Everything matches so perfectly. All right, then we need to punch out our punches. So you want one from each one. You can stamp it first if you want to. Um, since the stamp is clear, it doesn't really matter. So we've got one of those. 
in one of these. And then you've got plenty to make some more. All right, so the white one we need to stamp on. So I'm using Misty Moonlight, which matches our Misty Moonlight paper perfectly. And we're just gonna tap it really lightly onto our words. And I'm gonna have to pull this a little bit towards me because I can't really see over top of it straight if I don't. Hopefully my boobs aren't in the picture. <laughs> or my head. <laughs> All right, so there we go, pretty perfect. Awesome. All right, now I'm gonna show you the little trick with the punch. I know you guys probably might have seen this before because I know I've done it a lot and I'm sure other people do it too. So we're cutting this in half hamburger ways. So hamburger is the short way, hot dog would be the long way. And some punches you can do either way, but this one really only goes the one way. All right, so we're gonna put some tape on the back. Put a lot of tape. And then you're just gonna put this behind it so that it is just a little bit higher above it and then a little bit lower and just make sure the sides line up even so there you go so now you get a punch and it looks like there's a bigger punch behind it when it's really not you just cut it and pulled it apart and then that's going to go on with some dimensionals so let me find here's some I had a funny thing to tell you. Well, it's not really super funny or anything, but I, I went to work today and normally, you know, we're really busy at work and I don't get time to eat lunch or dinner or anything. And I was working 7.30 till 6 today, which is a really long day. And I let, I forgot my lunch because normally I just take like um, a protein shake or a protein bar or something quick and easy to eat. And I can eat it at my desk real fast. So I was sitting there going, oh my God, I can't believe I didn't bring anything to eat today. <laughs> And then about 12 o'clock, this guy walks in with six pizzas and they were six like extra, extra large pizzas. I'm, I'm not kidding. They were gigantic. And we're just all thinking, where did these pizzas come from? Because we asked him who ordered them and he said somebody's name. And we're like, well, nobody with that name works here. But he said they're paid for and everything. So we're like, okay. But it was like way too much. There was only 12 of us working and we got these six pizzas that were probably enough for four or five people each. I mean, they were just huge, like this big and they were cut into squares and there's probably like at least 20 pieces, you know, 20 squares like this big. I mean, it was just gigantic. And so we're all just like going, who did this? So we never did find out who ordered the pizza. And on the ticket that came with it, with the total, it said three pizzas. So they actually sent us twice as many pizzas that somebody ordered. We don't know who ordered them, and they gave us double what was paid for. So we got all this extra pizza, and I was like, of all the days, that was perfect because I didn't bring lunch. So it was just like somebody was watching out for us and sent us all lunch, and we didn't have to pay for it, and we got twice as much, so almost all of us got to take you know a lot home. So I have some for lunch tomorrow too. So that was an awesome thing that happened today. So, all right, so then we're gonna put the Kit Kat inside. So what you wanna do, you don't want these little flaps showing. So you're just gonna put a little bit of tape and it's kind of hard to get the tape in there, but you probably could use a little glue dot or something too, but just enough to hold it down. You just wanna tack it so that it doesn't flop out of there. And then you're gonna put it in here. Oh, so we wanna put some tape inside too, just a little bit to hold it down and then just put it right in the middle like that and then close it and then you're just gonna tie a little bow and then um, if you want to I'm gonna make a little card on the computer like just a little business card size thing and I'm just gonna tuck it like down in here behind this kind of sticking out that just has a little message like hope you have a great day hope this chocolate you know gives you a smile or something like that so it's just a great little gift to give to people. Or, you know, like I was doing at Panera's, this would be a great thing to pass out there. I mean, it's a little expensive, but I got these on sale. They were 36 in a box at Costco for, I think it was $23. So that comes out to like 60 some cents a piece, I think. So not too bad. And Costco also has these um, boxes of Hershey candies. So they have Kit Kats. Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, and they're full-size ones. Um, and 
the Hershey's bars, regular, and Hershey's almonds, and there are 30 total for $15.99. So I got like three boxes of those because that's a really good deal because that's almost like 50 cents a piece. So that's at Costco. They just went on sale a few days ago. So if you do a lot of projects with candy in your classes or if you need some gifts to do um, with that, you get the Kit Kats in there. I think there's six or seven Kit Kats and 10 Reese's and I think six of each Hershey bar. So it's a really, really good deal. So anyway, that is my cute little project for today. I hope you love it. And I was going to do a special because my birthday's coming up on Monday. So on Saturday, I was going to do a special for like the weekend. But I just found out Stampin' Up! is going to have a special starting on the 22nd, I think. But either the 20th, no, the 20th, maybe the 20th. So um, instead of doing a sale Saturday, I'm going to do it when the special starts. So on the 18th, which is Monday, we find out what the special is. So nobody knows what it is yet. So when I do my video Tuesday, I'll tell you guys what it is and I'll add something to the special for my birthday special. So anyway, I hope you guys had a great night. If you want to order anything, here's the host code and um, you can just go to stampingwithlisa.com, but you probably want to wait just a few days and I'm going to have a new host code on the 16th, which is Saturday. So Saturday I'll put a new host code up here. So you might want to wait and order a couple days. Um, just so you can get the extra special and my birthday special. So I hope you enjoyed this. I know it was a quick one tonight. Um, thanks, Diane. Hey, Sylvia. Perfect for your kids at church. It is. Um, very cute and easy, says Beverly. Thank you. And happy birthday. Thank you. All right. So you guys have a great rest of your night. And I'll be back Saturday afternoon to give you another video and I'm going to try to do a new stamp set that we have that's going to be in our next catalog that we got to pre-order. It's going to be a special next month so you guys can order it but it's going to be in our next catalog so I'm going to try and come up with something with that on Saturday too if I have time. Alright so I will see you guys later. Have a great night. Bye bye.